Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $20,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 73-year-old male. Now, first thing I suggest is go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com. We have these free quarters on just about every page. All you need to do is just click on the state and select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount and then put your birthday info and the rest of the info. Click Get Quotes Now. It's going to take you to a page that's going to show you the best insurance companies that are going to offer you the lowest rates for your age and in your state. You can also call us directly at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456, and one of our agents will run those quotes for you as well. Now, the first thing a 73-year-old male looking for $20,000 worth of insurance should ask is probably, hey, is that $20,000 going to be enough for my final expense needs? Now, typically, final expense needs would be either cremation or burial. So let's start with cremation. You know, the average cost of a cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn is right around one to $2,000 on average. Now, if you're going to have some sort of a, a ceremony, maybe a celebration of life or a remembrance ceremony, something like that, in addition to the cremation, that's probably going to be $3,500, $4,500. So we would probably recommend uh, different coverage amounts for each one, definitely. So the first one where you have that cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn, we'd probably recommend around $5,000 to $7,000 worth of coverage. And you might be asking, hey, Randy, you know, you, you said the cremation is going to be $2,000, but maybe five, get $5,000 as the policy. Why is that? Well, that's because our 73-year-old male probably wants to make it to age 83 and maybe even more. And we know that prices go up over time just due to inflation. So we actually want to get a little bit more coverage now just to make sure we inflation-proof the plan. And, you know, if, if you did die sooner than you thought, you know, there's a little extra money there to take care of some other final expenses that maybe you weren't able to take care of. Maybe some medical bills or credit card debt or something like that. But yeah, by getting that little extra coverage, it, it protects in the long run, but also protects in the short run too. So for that cremation plus the ceremony, we would probably recommend around 7000 to 10000 something like that. Again, protects the, the, the policy in the future by inflation-proofing it. But God forbid something happened a little sooner than anybody thought, it would also provide some extra funds there. Now, the average cost of a burial in the United States is right around $10,000. Now, it's hard to imagine that you'd walk into pretty much any funeral home in the United States with a $10,000 check and they wouldn't work with you. They wouldn't get something done. You know, just, you know, think about that. Would they say no and then have you walk out the door and walk two blocks down to one of their competitors? and take that check, you know, so just understand though, that, you know, $10,000 is going to be, it's going to be a very simple, simple funeral. It's certainly not going to be a fancy affair by any means. So what we would typically recommend for a 73 year old male is somewhere between 10, 15 to $20,000. Now, you know, just keep in mind, if your budget's tight, you can always start at $10,000 and we can always come back and help you add more coverage later. You have the flexibility to do that. And a lot of people that we work with are, are on a fixed or limited income, income, and that's exactly what they do. But by the same token, if you have some more resources, certainly you could get that $20,000 and you're going to be in great shape going forward. Now, occasionally somebody will, you know, come to us, a 73-year-old male, and say, hey, you know, I want to get thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 because I want to leave some money behind for my kids. And really, we, we tend to try to offer a different perspective on that. And, and the reason is at age 73, you're getting up there in age, and that's getting to be a fair amount of coverage for whole life insurance. So a lot of times that gets fairly expensive. And some, occasionally somebody will say, well, if I can't get $50,000, i am not going to do anything at all. And we, we, we just gently have to remind people that's kind of selfish in a way because, number one, the reason it's more expensive is because you put off shopping for it until age 73. That's your fault. That's not your kid's fault. And the other thing is, you know, if you don't get any insurance at all, your kids are going to have to end up paying for this. And that's exactly what you wanted to not happen. 
And that's not fair to do that to the kids because they'll have, probably have to put it on credit cards and they're going to be paying 26% interest. So just get a smaller policy. Just use this insurance for final expenses, exactly what it's intended for. And then at some point in the future, if you want to leave the kids money, you can just we can just help you get a separate policy for the kids. And that way you can kind of keep the two of those policies separate. Now, if money's not an issue, yeah, game on. Let's get you as much coverage as you want. But, you know, most of the people we help have some 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 money issues because they're on a fixed or limited income. Now, one thing we always recommend is getting first day coverage or benefits. That is so important. We do not recommend those two year waiting period plans at all. Um, and I'll get I'll get into that in a minute. But, yeah, first day coverage, what that means is hypothetically, if your plan were issued and approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would pay out the full death benefit of 20,000, 25,000, 10,000, 15,000, whatever it is. That's going to be the best coverage at the lowest pricing. Now, sometimes people will say, hey, Randy, you know, I do, I do want that first day coverage, but I've got some medical issues. And I hear they ask health questions for those first day coverage policies, to which we say, yeah, they do ask health questions. But really, that's our problem, not your problem. And what I mean by that is that, you know, that's why we work with so many different insurance companies, because they all ask different health questions and they all have different underwriting. And really right now, we're, we've got about a 90, 95% approval rate on our first day coverage or benefits. So we're really great at what we do. Now, really, the only reason we wouldn't be able to get your first day coverage is if you waited too long and you had some health issues, like major health issues, like, you know, you, you were diagnosed with a terminal illness and you had less than 12 months to live, or you had dementia, or you were on dialysis, or, or you were in a hospital or a nursing home. Chances are, if you have something like that, we're going to refer you to a different insurance company. What always seems to happen, at least on a weekly basis too, is somebody will, will approach us and say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week and you know they didn't have insurance and we don't have any money and we need to, you know, we need to get this insurance really quick because you know, their body's down at the funeral home and the funeral home director is not going to do anything without a check in his hand. And we have to let them know that there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer an insurance policy on a dead person. No, you got to be alive. You got to be alive to qualify for this coverage. And it's it's really sad that the family member did die away, did die, and pass away. And it's also really sad that they they just never took care of this. They knew they were going to die at some point in the future. They thought about getting this insurance at some point in the past, and they just didn't do it. They, they were going to do it someday, and then they just done went and died. And now their family has to deal with this, and they'll probably have to put it on their credit cards at 26% interest and be paying on this for years and years and years. So what a horrible legacy to leave behind. You want to, be, to leave behind a legacy of love, and instead you left behind a legacy of debt. So don't do that. Don't do that. It's not, it's not what you want, and you don't want that for your family members and loved ones either. So the one, the one plan that we don't recommend is those plans with two-year waiting periods. Yeah, we don't recommend those at all. Now, Colonial Pen, you may not know this, but Colonial Pen, their 995 plan, is a two-year waiting period. Ouch, right? <laughs> Ouch, you probably didn't know that. Yeah, but they're not the only two-year waiting period company. There's other companies out there, too. Uh, there's Mutual of Omaha, the United of Omaha Line, AIG, Gerber, Gosh, just a host of other insurance companies. And uh, some of these companies out there have done an amazing job of convincing the American public that if you're over age 50, the only thing you're going to qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period, to which we always say, <laughs> you know, don't fall for such nonsense because we help people with first day coverage all day long. Now, our 73-year-old male, you know, probably just got done watching a Colonial Pen commercial and he's probably so excited because they're so well produced, right? And they sound so good. And he's probably thinking, I'm, I'm kind of a smarty pants for waiting until age 73 because I'm going to get a lot of insurance for 995. I'm probably going to get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, maybe even $50,000. And then, uh, yeah, and then he talks to a Colonial Pen agent or goes online on their website like we've done for you here and sees that, you know, for a male age 73, 995, one unit of coverage, 995, 
is only going to pay out $608. Now, you know, $608 is not even enough to cover a cremation in any part of the United States that we're aware of. And it wouldn't matter anyway, because this plan's got that two-year waiting period that's not going to pay out anything in the first two years unless you die of a health or medical reason. So why would you ever do that? Why would you ever get a plan like that? Um, there's a lot of people that would say that, you know, these companies out there that offer these, these teaser rates, you know, those rates that sound too good to be true. They, they, they say that some of these companies offer those plans, not because they want to sell you that plan, because they will actually show you that plan and show you how minimal the coverage is in order to drive you to a more expensive plan, offering more coverage that's also more expensive, but also more profitable for them. Now, we're not saying we would never say Colonial Pen would do anything like that, but you might want to be, you know, some people out there do say that though, but you might want to be the own judge of on your own just because, you know, $9.95 is only $608 for you. Yeah. So yeah, just, you gotta be, gotta be a smart consumer. And, you know, if you're not a smart consumer, just reach out to us. We can actually help you be a smart consumer and get better rates. Now we're, we're looking for $20,000. The, the challenge is that Colonial Pen only goes up to 15 units and we're going to max out. And I know that's going to be well below $20,000. Here we go. Yeah. 15 units is only $9,120. That's going to cost 150 bucks roughly. Round it up, 149.25, bucks. So let's go see what that would look like for first day coverage. So we've got 20,000 here. We've got our male, uh, age 73. We're going to hit the get quote button. And again, this is 9,000 for 150 dollars. And look at what we're getting here. Um, so I, I want to go back up and show you here again. This is 20,000. I just wanted to share that with you one more time. So that's for one hundred and sixty four dollars. So you might you might look at that and go, well, yeah, I mean, that's that's like fourteen dollars more than Colonial Pen, fourteen, fifteen dollars. Yeah, it is fourteen or fifteen dollars more. But this is twenty thousand versus Colonial Pen's nine thousand. So what we consistently see is that Colonial Pen is at or really close in most cases to two hundred percent higher than most first day insurance companies. So we just can't recommend them at all. You know, why would you do that? And, and you're going to get socked with a two-year waiting period as, as well. So you're paying almost twice as much in most cases, and you've got a two-year waiting period. It just makes no sense at all if you qualify for first day coverage. And bottom line is there's other two-year waiting period plans out there that are much more affordable than Colonial Pen. But yeah, let's take a look. We're 164. Let's look at some other companies since we're here. 164, and you'll be able to see all these different insurance companies. So, uh, yeah, the Calumico is 190, um, 164, roughly $25 more a month. So that's $25 a month times 12 months. That's $300 more a year. After 10 years, if our age 73 year old male makes it to age 83, after 10 years, you will have overpaid right around $3,600 more roughly. So you got to ask yourself, why on earth would you ever want to give an insurance company $3,600, $3,600 more than you need to? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you want to keep that in your own pockets, in your own bank account, just by going with a company that we can actually help you with and get so much better rates? Let's find another company here, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here's one. Uh, Lincoln Heritage. So. Uh, they're a fine company, I guess, but um, I mean, it is level coverage, first day coverage, but look at that pricing. Holy cow, what's the deal with that? Well, the deal with that is Lincoln Heritage has a deal where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two or three different funeral homes to get you the best pricing. Maybe you do a couple of other things as well, but you know, they don't do that for free. No, they, they, they charge more for their policies because of that. And it costs you a lot over time. Because this is like basically 219 rounded up, 219 versus 164. So Lincoln Heritage is around $55 more a month. So let's do the math on that. $55 a month times 12 months is right around $660. 
And if our 73 year old male makes it up to 83 years old, you will have lived 10 years and you will have overpaid uh, by going with Lincoln Heritage, you will have overpaid right around $6,600 more. So, you know, a lot of people would say that, you know, that's a pretty fantastic payday for an insurance company just to make two or three phone calls and maybe do a couple of other things that maybe only takes an hour or so to do. And we would tend to agree. We would love, we would absolutely love to see you keep that $6,600 roughly in your own pocket, in your own bank account versus giving that to an insurance company to put it into their bank account. We don't recommend that at all. So what we recommend you do is let us help you get qualified for the lower, lowest price insurance. And then what we have actually on, on our website is you can download a free funeral and estate planning guide. And what you do is you just download that and then print it out. And once it's printed out, you just fill it out. You write down who gets what and what goes where and what you'd want done after you're gone. And then you keep that with your insurance policy. And then when you pass away, you, all your family has to do is just open that up and start reading and follow your instructions. And they will have such peace of mind knowing that they're doing everything exactly how you wanted it done and that you also provided them financial protection with the insurance policy so they don't have to worry about that aspect of it either. What a wonderful gift of love. They will know that you not only love them in life, but they will know that you actually loved and wanted to protect them in death, actually when then they would need you the most when you're not around. But this policy can just live after you and protect, protect them and let them know that you love them. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. And we can help you fulfill that legacy. So just go to funeralfunds.com. We've actually got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube, where you can get the lowest rates and the most discounts. It's terrific. You can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can run those rates for you. But whether you've got an existing policy that you want to see if we can get you lower rates on it, we can price check that for you. If you've got an existing policy and you want to add coverage, we can help you with that as well. If you're looking for brand new coverage or just have some questions or want to understand what might be best for your situation, we can help you out with that. So we look forward to the day where we can get you the most amount of insurance for the least amount of money. We will be blessed to help you with this at some point in the future. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.